Uh, epidemiology, I'm not going to read all of this to you. Uh, I'm just going to hit the high points of some of these slides. <clears throat> and, and here, when we talk about head and neck cancer, the oral ca cavity is the most common location here for oral cancer. So that's 23,000 cases a year. And uh, that's a number I'll ask you to remember for a couple minutes here, 23,000 cases a year. Uh, compared to cervical cancer, uh, cervical cancer only has about 10,000 cases per year. So oral cancer is over twice as common as cervical cancer in the United States with cervical cancer only having 10,000 cases per year. Interesting study uh, done looked at almost 2,000 people where they just pulled the people on the streets. Uh, they just asked people, have you heard of lung cancer? Have you heard of skin cancer, cervical cancer, oral cancer? Everybody's heard of lung, lung cancer and skin cancer. Most people have heard of cervical cancer, but only half have heard of oral cancer. And again, this is interesting because oral cancer is over twice as common as cervical cancer. Um, in the United States, the top 10 cancer sites by uh, body region, uh, we are on the top 10 list here with oral cavity and pharynx. One of the problems here historically is that uh, the data collecting agencies such as the National Cancer Institute have grouped oral cavity and pharynx, meaning the throat, together. Uh, originally, we didn't know this was going to be a problem, and um, I'll explain why this is a problem in, in, a, uh, in, in a few minutes here. Um, even our own ADA website says oral cancer strikes 34,000 Americans each year. And if you remember, that number asks you to remember 23,000 is the actual number of oral cavity. So where do they get this 34,000? Well, that's the number that you get if you combine oral cavity with oral pharynx cancer. And again, it's inappropriate to, they call this oral cancer because oral pharyngeal cancer uh, is not oral cancer. It's a completely different animal. 